Hi kids, in today's video we are going to start unit 12 which is about questions. So kids, as you know, we use a question mark at the end of every question. Whenever we are curious about anything and we need to have some information, we ask question. There are different purposes for asking questions. A question begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. So this is the question mark that we put at the end of the question for which we don't have the relevant information. Let's have a look. The questions given to us here are, what is your name? As you see, the sentence starts with a capital letter and ends at a question mark. So this is why the sentence is called as a question. Is this your bag? Do you watch television? Does Ahmed like milk? Where do you live? So all these five questions do not have the relevant information that the questioner wants to get. So basically question is such form of a sentence that is used to ask to the other person. So if you look at all these questions, we don't have the relevant information about each of the sentence. So in short, we can say a question is such a form of sentence which begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Questions normally begin with the following words. So these are the following words with which the question normally begins. Why, where, when, what, am, how, do, does, did, is. So all those words, they start with WH. These are called the question tags or WH words. The rest such as am, do, does, did, is. These are called the helping verb or helping auxiliary verbs. Let's have a look at the exercise. Try answering these questions as the first one has been done for you. What is the name of your country? Pakistan. What is your name? So kids, you have to put your name over here. Where is your school? So what we are going to do here in this exercise, we are going to put some sample answers over here so that you can have the idea how you are going to reply. What is your name? Sara. Where is your school? Islamabad. What do you like to eat? Pizza. And when do you go to sleep? At 10 o'clock. So kids, as you can see, these are the, some, some of the questions that start with WH words. And this, these are some of the sample answers. Let's move to the next page. Here on the second page of this unit, we have a school and a library. Exercise B says underline the capital letters at the start of every question or sentence. Add a question mark if it is a question, add a full stop if it is a sentence. Let's start. Our class goes to the library full stop because this is a sentence. Does the library have many books? It starts with the helping or auxiliary verb does. It means it is a question and we don't have a complete answer for it. So we are going to put the question mark at the end.
we do not speak in the library. Since this is a statement, we are supposed to put full stop at the end because it's a sentence. Is the library clean? This is again a question, so we are supposed to put question mark at the end. All the students take care of the books. This is a statement. It is a complete sentence. We are supposed to put the comma. So we are supposed to put the full stop at the end. When can we take the books home? So this, this one I leave for you kids for your practice. You have to do it on your own. So in this unit, we learned about questions and asking questions. We learned a simple format, simple rule that questions begin with a capital letter and ends at a question mark. So we can say question is such form of a sentence in which the person who is asking the question is curious to know and get the relevant certain information. I hope you liked the video and enjoyed it. I'll be back with some more. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.